Welcome to the last episode of the Crypto Jargon series. This one will be all about abbreviations that you will find mostly in trading signals. When posting signals, traders use loads of abbreviations to save time and to keep their message short for convenience, especially on Twitter or Telegram. And although I don't really like to follow other people's signals, I know that many people do. And with that said, I do find it useful to see what other traders forecast, if only to confirm or question my own projections when I do market research and analysis. So it's important to know what these abbreviations stand for. I won't be breaking down the meaning of each term here. I did that already throughout this series. So hopefully you've seen the previous episodes of Crypto Jargon and you know what they mean. Now here are a few examples of trading signals and how things are abbreviated, which can be confusing to anyone who is not a seasoned trader. Here is the list of the most commonly used such abbreviations, starting with SR, which is short for support and resistance. I explain support and resistance in another video. If you just see S, this stands for short, meaning sell, or just L is for long, meaning buy, while SL is a stop loss. This is the price level where you should set a order, stop loss order, so that you can exit a trade if the market turns against you. Stop loss is also explained in the previous episode about trading slang, so you can find that linked in the description box. TP is a target price or it can also mean take profit, which refers to the price where one should be trying to sell at. Sometimes there are two or three target prices depending on the analysis. EP stands for entry price. EW is for Elliott Waves, type of charting analysis. RL is the resistance line or resistance level. TL is a trend line. TF is a time frame. Higher time frame is HTF and lower time frame would be LTF. RR stands for risk reward ratio. In other words, what is the risk you take compared to the profit you might gain from that trade? The higher that ratio, the better. FIB is short for Fibonacci retracement level, which was also explained in the other episode of Crypto Jargon. Make sure that you catch it. MAs are moving averages. These are indicators used in charting. DMA is the daily moving average. WMA is the weekly moving average. RSI is another indicator called relative strength index. MACD is also an indicator explained in another episode, as well as HNS, which is head and shoulders pattern, and the CNH, which is the cap and handle pattern. Big cap is for coins with a large market capitalization. Small cap is for those with small market cap. In other words, cheap coins, but let that not fool you. They don't always have the potential to grow and become big, so research them well. And please don't think that if you don't have a lot of capital, you have to be focusing on the cheap coins or those with a small capitalization. These things are not connected at all. Sometimes it's best to buy small amounts of Bitcoin instead of larger amounts of a cheaper coin, because the cheaper coin might not perform as well as Bitcoin. The price alone has nothing to do with the performance of the coin. And this concludes today's episode and the whole series of Crypto Jargon. I hope you enjoyed this series and you learned a lot from them. Also, if you missed any of the episodes, they will all be linked in the description box of this one. So you will find the links to all 30 episodes of the Crypto Jargon series here in this episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your likes and comments and sharing these episodes with people who might also benefit from them. And if you're new to this channel, if this was the first episode that you saw from this series, make sure that you check them out. There is a lot of information that I gave you for free throughout this series. So definitely worth going through all of them. They're all very short. Thank you for watching again and I'm gonna see you in the next episode of my Crypto Corner podcast, which is also weekly on this channel. Enjoying this content? Go check out Crypto Jargon, the ebook, out now on Kindle. It's an Amazon bestseller and it's the most up to date crypto dictionary with more than 700 terms, acronyms, and trading slang related to cryptocurrencies and blockchain tech. Just go to ojjordan.com/slash crypto jargon and grab your digital copy today.